Hi, we're back with another unboxing video, and this time it's the return of the Doctor Who Gallifreyan Mystery Box from the Amazing Mystery Box Company. It's a $24.99 monthly subscription box, packed full of officially licensed Doctor Who merchandise. There's always a t-shirt, and then it could be absolutely anything else, um, from figures, books, audio novels, and absolutely anything else. So, without wasting any more time, we'll crack open the box and see what goodies await. As always, we rate everything in the box. If it's any good, we'll score it a hit. If it's not so good, we'll score it a miss, and you'll see the scores build up as we go along. So, here we go, see what's in this month. Um, first up, it's quite a bulky item. <laughs> oh, this is quite a good thing here, but I'm um, maybe a little bit sort of wary. Um, We've got this um, Doctor Who tea time cookie set. So you've got um, the 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th cookie cutters, um, the tea towel, um, and a recipe book. Now, this has actually got a nice little item in itself, but a few months ago, I actually had this which is the monster set um so obviously it was the Sontaran, uh silent cyberman and weeping angel um so this is a difficult one um you know do i really want to how do i feel about this you know having two very similar items in the space of a couple of months. Um, I mean, the tea towel itself is very different. Um, you know, different sort of designs and everything on this. Cookie cutters, yes, they are the different doctors, and the shapes are different. Um, I mean, the actual doctors itself, it's rather, rather than just the outline, as you can see there, they are actually embossed cookies. I don't know how well that shows up. Um, it is different, and if you did want to collect all of the different shapes of cookies, it's a nice thing to have. So, I will give it a hit, but being very similar to something I've had only within the last couple of months, it's only just scraped through as a hit, to be honest. I mean, value-wise, um, there isn't actually a price on it. Um, uh, there's no retail price on that, but yeah. I, would just, I will reluctantly give it a hit, but it's not... Having something very similar not too long ago, I'm, it's not the, not the greatest start, to be honest. Um, right, we've got a figure here. Um, one of the Eagle Moss ones. Um, you see there, it's Magnus Greel from the Talons of Wang Chiang. Um, yeah, any of these, to be honest, are an automatic hit for me. I've got a huge collection. Obviously, you can't see now because I've got the green screen behind me, but I think now I've probably had about 15, 20 of these, um, mostly from the Amazing Mystery Box. Um, I've had a couple from HMV boxes, um, but yeah, I absolutely love these. Um, I've lost count now of how many I've got, but they are piling up. I think they're approaching their second shelf now. Um, but yeah, I do like these, so that's going to be another hit. Next up, it feels like another batch, another figure. Um, now this, yeah, this is going to be another instant hit for me. Um, I do love Jodie Whittaker's Doctor, um, some people don't, but, and linking in, it's um, Graham. So, yeah, <laughs> that's going to be definitely I don't normally bother with Doctor Who figures. Um, I used to collect them a long time ago. Uh, back when the Tom Baker figures were out, the, the original ones back in the 70s, but yeah, um, nice figure, um, I think it's, uh, I mean, it's four in this range, I think it's about, uh, I'd say it's about a five, six, it's about a six inch figure I think there, um, but yeah, it's a nice figure there, so yeah, I can't go wrong with that to be honest, so yeah, so you can see there, I mean there's a lot of detail on the face to be honest, um, they've got a little shirt underneath the jacket but yeah i really can't go wrong there's four in the set five and a half inches tall so yeah nice figure there so could be a hit 
Next up, um, book. Um, no, notebook. I've had, I think I've had Doctor Who notebooks before. Um, and this is, I'm mixed about this one. It's a dark design. Um, it looks like the um, Christopher Eccleston, David Tennant early logo. But so it's been old stock, been lying around. Um, it, it shows it's been lying around. To be honest, there's, some, there's actually scuff marks on the back of this, and I don't know if you can see in that top corner. There's actually an indentation that it's been leaned on and used for leaning on. So I'm actually going to give this a miss, not because of the actual book itself. I mean, there's but more the condition it's arrived in. Um, but yeah, this, this is old stock that's been left lying around and when a book's been used and it's kind of leaned on and is damaged, then that's going to be a miss, unfortunately. I'd, I'd like it as a notebook, but condition has let that down, unfortunately. Um, next, um, a set of badges, uh, Peter Capaldi. I've had these before from a, an amazing mystery box set. I am I know because I've actually been sorting through some of my mystery boxes um, the last few days and things I've had it. And it's definitely been an amazing mystery box and not anyone else. So duplicate items from the same box I will rate down. So I'm afraid that's going to be another miss. <coughs> um, so this is actually not doing particularly well. Um, if normally if I bought a one-off box and I'd had something I'd got from somebody else, I will give it a hit regardless. But because these are subscription boxes and I've had the same item more than once, I will be pretty harsh on it. Um, next up, and again. Um, this is getting to be a bit of a disappointment. Um, magnetic photo frame. I've had at least three of these now. Uh, I think one may, may have been in a one-off box. Um, but yeah, these are getting repetitive now, to be frank. Um, and I don't want these all over the place. Uh, but this is actually the third, of the third one of these I've had. And I do not want a fourth. <laughs> uh, I don't want these all the time. Um, if I'd had one and I was going to put one up on the fridge, I'd put one on the fridge, but I don't want a fridge covered in them. So again, I'm afraid this is another miss. Uh, yeah, it's it's nice to have, but if you're a collector and you're going to put one on the fridge, you'll buy one, put a photo in, stick it on the fridge. You're not going to then buy another and another and another. I'm sorry, Amazing Mystery Box, you, this is a disappointment. It's so far, as you can see, it's three for three. Uh, there's, checking, there's, there's only one item left, the t-shirt, and I might have to tell. And this box, this has got to be a good t-shirt to redeem itself. Um, and which, luckily, it's... I, mean, I was actually dreading the fact this could be a t-shirt I had already got. Uh, <laughs> um, but this this box is bit, so far has been a big disappointment. The value, the value, there's no denying that it's there. It is overall, it is worth twenty four ninety nine. But the duplicates have really sort of hit hard on this one. Um, so t-shirts, t-shirt wise. Um, Cybermen, um, very sort of cutesy, sort of almost sort of pop figure esque. Um, but yeah, nice design. Um, Cybermen, it's actually a metallic sort of look to the artwork on it. Um, but nice t shirt, but one I haven't got, so that is going to be a hit. Um, that does help redeem the box slightly, um, but overall, yeah. To be honest, I am disappointed with this box. Um, four good items, uh, but the rest. Mm. So, so, yeah, overall, I will still recommend the Amazing Mystery Box. Um, 
I'm, for this particular Doctor Who box, I'm not going to cancel my subscription over something like this. Um, this is the first box that has really left me feeling a little bit jaded over it. But I subscribe, I will keep doing so. The four items, are they worth the $24.99? Yes. T-shirts are always £15 plus for a licensed shirt. And the rest, is that worth £10? Yes, undoubtedly. So, yes, I'm going to carry on with my box. Um, would I recommend subscriptions to anyone else? Of course I would. I mean, you've seen all of the other... If you haven't looked at the other videos and the unboxings I've done, go back, check the channel, and you'll see some of the other ones that they've released. So I would recommend that you pop over to their site there and pick up one of your own or one of their other boxes. But this particular one, you can see the scores. I mean, this is a disappointment. Um, but I'd love to know what you think in the comments and what you think of the other items that haven't impressed me this time around um uh, but overall for the video don't forget if you enjoyed it drop us a like and if you're not already doing so please take the time to subscribe and uh, don't forget click on the bell for notifications of when we release more videos um anyway thanks for watching and we'll see you all again soon thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to click on the like button and leave us a comment below also, spare a moment to share this video on Twitter, Facebook and all your social media pages. To get updates on all of our latest videos delivered straight to your inbox, subscribe now using the link on the screen.